Hey, worshipers of Jesus Christ, let's dive right into Mark chapter 15. So glad you're continuing this New Testament challenge as we try to read the whole New Testament in one year. Let's get right to it. Very early in the morning, the chief priests with the elders and the teachers of the law and the whole Sanhedrin made their plans. So they bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. You have said so, Jesus replied. The chief priests accused him of many things. So again, Pilate asked him, Are you going to answer? See how many things they are accusing you of? But Jesus still made no reply. And Pilate, was amazed. Now it was the custom at the festival to release a prisoner whom the people requested. A man called Barnabas was in prison with the insurrectionists who had committed murder in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews, asked Pilate, knowing it was out of self-interest that the chief priests had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barnabas instead, who was a murderer. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews, Pilate asked them? Crucify him, they shouted. Why? What crime has he committed, asked Pilate. But they shouted all the more louder, Crucify him! Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barnabas to them, and he had Jesus flogged, which is like really badly whipped, and handed him over to be crucified. The soldier led Jesus away into the palace, that is the paratroium, and called together the whole com- company of soldiers. They put a purple robe on him. They twisted together a crowd of thorns and set it on him. Wow. They began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! Again and again they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. Wow, what humiliation. Then they led him out to crucify him. Oh, how much Jesus loves us, right? A certain man from Caesarea, Simon, the father of Alexander, Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country, and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgoth, which means the place of the skull. They then... Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him, dividing up his clothes. They casted lots to see what would, what each would get. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. They crucified two rebels with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, So you are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days? Come down that cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law mocked him Amongst themselves, he saved others, he said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, the King of Israel, come down now for the cross, from the cross, that we may see and believe. 
those crucified with him also heaps insults on him. It's crazy because Jesus the whole time had the power to come off that cross. But he chose in all of that suffering to still choose to go through it. To be 100% human and still go through it. It's crazy. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Elio, Elio, Lema, Sabach, Thania. Look, I don't know how to speak this language, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last breath. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. See, this is fulfilling prophecies here. When the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Some women were watching from a distance among more Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James the Younger, and of Joseph and Salim and Galilee. These women had followed him and cared for his needs. Many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem were also there. It was the prepar it was preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. So as evening approached, Joseph of Armethia, I don't know, a prominent member of the council who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. body. Pilate was surprised to hear that he was already dead. Summoning the centurion, he asked him if Jesus had already died. When he learned from the centurion that it was so, he gave the body to Joseph. So Joseph brought some line cloth, took down the body, wrapped it in the linen, and placed it in a tomb cut out of rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where he was laid. I can, I cannot imagine making a tomb for, for Jesus, you know, like preparing that and preparing his body. Oh, and putting him in for burial. Like, oh man, the amount of sorrow that, uh, these, his followers, um, felt. I mean, it was just, I know it had to have been the biggest pain. And the thing is, is that it's crazy that these, you know, Jewish people of the law, you know, said, oh, just come down and, and we'll believe you. Look, he had done so many miracles. He had literally rose from the dead people who had died. There was no miracle, you know, that he could have ever shown these Pharisees. Their heart was hardened. This is why, you know, it didn't matter, you know, and also he was called to do this. He was called to, he was, he was, he was sent here for us. He was here for us as a sacrifice, a gift, and the whole time and all of this suffering, we see how he just was so willing to to give his life at any moment able to get out of it but willing 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 anyway let me pray for you jesus thank you lord god for this person who's listening to this thank you for their love of you god thank you lord god amen amen god bless you worshipers of jesus christ